What's up everybody, Justin here, back with a new year in Wrestling Reloaded, 1995, part 2, where I'm going to give you in the matches and the cards of the ECW Super Shows that happened in 95, like, they were like monthly shows at the ECW Arena, and they would do the same in 96, 97, 98, 99, they do a lot of big monthly shows at the ECW Arena or in Queens, uh, New York at the Madhouse of Extreme, really a legendary building along with the ECW Arena. Small building, it was a, I believe a former fight club or nightclub in Queens. But, my God, those fans were loud and fucking passionate Queens, New York fans. So, let's start with uh, the card for, I'm not, it's not really a, rev a review of the shows. I'm just giving you the matches. You want to look up the results, look them up or watch the shows on the network. Let's start with ECW Hardcore Heaven, 95. You had the tag team champions Raven and Stevie Richards take on uh, Luna Vachon and Tommy Dreamer. Yes, it was Luna. She was damn tough. Rest in peace to Luna Vachon. She was so damn tough. She could take on the guys in ECW and survive. And she could kick a lot of wrestlers, uh, male wrestlers' asses because she's that tough. I think Lu Luna even bled in ECW a little bit. So up next we had Cactus Jack. I think it was the main event, but I'm reading it. I'm going down the card out of order. Cactus Jack continued to feud with the Sandman in 95. Cactus Jack... Took on the Sandman for the ECW World Title. I don't know why it says barbed wire match. Hardcore Heaven was not a barbed wire match. That was the other show. Uh, barbed wire hoodies and choke slams was a barbed wire match at the ECW Arena. And Cactus and Sandman also had a barbed wire match in Florida in 95. So we also had. The uh, Public Enemy take on the Gangsters. The Public Enemy and the Gangsters met each other for the first time ever. Might have been the Gangsters uh, ECW debut. And the fans, when New Jack came in as the Gangsters, the fans did not like them. They were heels, but New Jack didn't give a fuck. So, up next we had uh, Shane Douglas. Shane Douglas' farewell as he goes to the WWF. That didn't fucking work. And it wasn't uh, Shane Douglas' fault. WWF screwed the hell out of him. Just a god-awful character, Dean Douglas. It was bad. Even for 95, and 95 was a lot of fucking gimmicks. Just cartoonish gimmicks. In WWF and WCW had way too many stupid uh, PG cartoonish gimmicks. And Dean Douglas was stupid. But I like Shane Douglas. His best work and his best run of his career was in ECW. So, uh, and they said there were more matches, but I don't have them down. Probably should have my tablet with me so I could read all the results, but I don't. I could pause this and go get it, but screw that. Heat Wave 95. Heat Wave 95, Rage in the Cage, where we had two steel cage matches in the ECW Arena. ECW in their history did not have many cage matches. Uh, I would say like 
four to five that I can think of. That's it. So at uh, Heat Wave 95, we saw Luna Vachon take on Stevie Richards in the cage. Luna took a beating. She really did. I think she's bleeding also. But Stevie Richards also took a beating from Luna. And the second cage match was a public enemy taking on the uh, gangsters. That was just a hardcore bloodbath war. Ton of weapons. Uh, like two or three tables were set up on top of each other. I think Rocco Rock did a moot salt off the cage, through the tables, through the gangsters. I think uh, New Jack did a chair dive with a chair off the top of the cage or something. There were other matches, I believe, at Heat Wave uh, 95, but they're not listed. Also, I believe Raven interfered in the Luna Vachon Stevie Richards match, and Tommy Dreamer got in the cage, attacked. Raven tied him up to the cage, so he was crucified against the cage. Dreamer had a chair. And uh, I believe he yelled EC fucking W and he cracked Raven in the fucking skull. Basically with a real legit steel chair, not a gimmick chair. Cracked his skull in. The sound was just insane. It's like a gunshot going off and Raven is still tied up and handcuffed after he took that vicious, vicious violent chair shot. Probably suffered a damn concussion there. Then Dreamer, uh, Tommy goes into the crowd. The innovator of violence celebrates. Our fans are just going wild. Start chanting EC Dub, EC Dub. So now let's uh, go to Gangsters Paradise 95. Up first we had a cage match. Another cage match. In 95, they, I believe they did like... Three or four cage matches, or at least uh, three. So, Gangster's Paradise in the Steel Cage. Mikey Whipwreck teamed up a six-man Steel Cage match. Mikey Whipwreck teamed up with the Public Enemy to take on the Sandman, Two Cold Scorpio, and New Jack. The debut of... Uh, Two great luchador Mexican stars, Rey Mysterio Jr. debuts, and Psychosis debuts. This was, I believe, after uh, Eddie Guerrero was uh, already gone from ECW by the time Rey Mysterio came in with Psychosis and Juventud, and I think even La Parca was there for a little bit. Not much, so. So, uh, Rey Mysterio makes his debut with Psychosis. They have a really awesome match at Gangster's Paradise. They just did moot saws off the ropes into the crowd. It was insane. The Pitbulls challenged for the tag team titles as they took on Raven and Stevie Richards, the champions. That, uh, was that a dog collar match? It might have been. Might have been a double dog collar, I'm not sure. Finally, we saw Steve Austin. Not stunning Steve, not stone cold Steve Austin. We saw the superstar Steve Austin make his ECW debut at Gangster's Paradise 95. Now let's go on to the November to remember, 95, where uh, it was one of Terry Funk's uh, so-called uh, retirement matches, which he did not retire, he might have still wrestled like in 2019 or 18, I'm not sure. But I, I am convinced uh, Terry Funk wants to die in the ring. The guy's all-time great hardcore legend. Terry Funk, in one of his uh, 
final matches at November to remember 95. Again, it was not his final match. As he teams with uh, Tommy Dreamer, as Tommy Dreamer has said many times, Terry Funk was his mentor. He teams up with Terry to take on Raven and Cactus Jack. That was good. Psychosis and Rey Mysterio Jr. go to war in a Mexican death match. That was awesome as hell. That was really good. I think all that match is on the Rise and Fall of ECW DVD. Is uh, Sabu returns to ECW in the ECW arena and he takes on Hack Myers. Tag Team Champions, a Sandman and Two Coats Scorpio defend against the Public Enemy Superstar Steve Austin. Challenges Mikey Whipwreck for the ECW World Title. And Mikey defeated Steve Austin. I'm not joking. Uh, mad, uh, mad props to Steve Austin for doing the job. To Mikey Whipwreck and getting him over more as he left ECW. Mikey Whipwreck actually has a victory over Steve Austin. So now let's go to the final show of uh, 95 for ECW. It was called uh, Holiday Hell. Holiday Hell 95. It was in New York City. The Gangsters return as a tag team and they uh, brawl and just have a hardcore brawl with the public enemy again. Sabu and Cactus Jack have an ECW death match. It was really good. I remember it well. I'm trying to remember one crazy spot. I think it was a table spot where... Uh, Cactus or Sabu got put through a table and their body like went through the middle of the table. That was pretty awesome. So also we had uh, 9-1-1 Sabu and Cactus as I said at a death match and 9-1-1 was a referee Mikey Whipwreck goes after the TV and tag team titles. Against uh, Two Gold Scorpio. Or with them. I'm not sure. I think it's a singles match. Raven and Tommy Dreamer have a match for a shot at the Sandman's world title. Of course, Raven won and faced the Sandman later. Or maybe in 96. Missy Hyatt. At a Holiday Hell 95, Missy Hyatt makes her ECW debut. She manages a Sandman. She didn't do much. All she was doing is lighting Sandman's uh, cigarette and trying to look hot. She still had her looks in uh, 95, 96. And I'm not trying to be mean by saying that. Just uh, Missy Hyatt... In her prime, in the 80s, early 90s, she was pretty damn attractive. And in 95, 96, she's still attractive. When she went to XPW in 99, uh, she was not that attractive anymore. But she's a really nice woman. She's very cool on Twitter to follow. and She's a legend in wrestling. She was a part of uh, World Class, NWA, WCW, and a tiny bit in ECW. So that was Holiday Hell, 95. Pretty damn good show from what I remember of it. Now let's go to the PWI Pro Wrestling Illustrated 95 Awards. Uh, ECW in 95, my final thought on ECW. They were really good in 95. They were growing a lot. The crowds were getting bigger and bigger at the ECW arena. They went off to New York and did big shows. 
Also, I'm going to mention, even though I talked about it, I'm sure, in my Year in Wrestling uh, playlist series on 95, where I talked about and reviewed every pay-per-view in 95. I'm sure I talked about WCW Monday Nitro made its debut in 95 in uh, September. It was really good for WCW. They got really good ratings. They were like right below Raw and they beat them. They even started beating them, I believe, in 95 or definitely 96. They started kicking Raw's ass. So, uh, and again, Nitro was a really genius uh, move that Bischoff made. And Ted Turner also has a lot to do with it because it was... He agreed to it, to put it on his network, TNT. So without Ted Turner, there would have been no Nitro or Monday Night Wars. So uh, respect to Ted Turner. That guy doesn't get enough uh, credit and love. So, uh, Wrestler of the Year for 95. My bottom line, Nitro was a great fucking idea for WCW and made them grow a lot. Because they went to different cities every Monday and drew good crowds and started making more income. So, uh, Wrestler of the Year for 1995 was Diesel. That's not a shock because he's champion for about 11 months. Runner-up was Shawn Michaels. Second runner-up, Ric Flair. Third runner-up, somehow, for Wrestler of the Year. Third runner-up, Ahmed Johnson. So now let's go to uh, Tag Team of the Year. I'm going to guess here and say the Tag Team of the Year was Harlem Heat or the Nasty Boys. Tag, te <clears throat> Tag Team of the Year. i got to get a drink here. Tag Team of the Year for 1995. Harlem Heat. What do you know? I was right. Harlem Heat. Runner-up, uh, Smoking Guns. Second runner-up, Owen Hart, Yokozuna. Third runner-up, The Steiners. Let's go to Match of the Year for 95. Match of the Year, Shawn Michaels and Diesel, WrestleMania 11. First runner-up, Shawn Michaels, uh, Jeff Jarrett from the 95, uh, July 95 in your house. Second runner-up, Harlem Heat against the Nasty Boys. And third runner-up, Psychosis, Rey Mysterio Jr. from ECW. Also, you could have had match of the year. Definitely could have been Eddie Guerrero and D. Malenko and ECW. They had some fucking wrestling classics in 95 in ECW. I mean, they were some of the best matches going on in 95 were Eddie and D. Malenko. So, uh, yeah, match of the year, Diesel, Shawn Michaels. It was good, but I wouldn't say it was match of the year. Feud of the Year. Feud of the Year. Axel Rotten, Ian Rotten from ECW. Ian is a piece of shit. Axel had some talent. Ian did not. First runner-up, Harlem Heat, Nasty Boys. Second runner-up, Jeff Jarrett, Razor Ramon. And third runner-up, Ric Flair, Randy Savage. For Feud of the Year. Most Popular Wrestler of the Year. 95. Shawn Michaels. First runner-up Sting. Second runner-up Diesel. Third runner-up Hulk Hogan. Hogan was not very uh, over in 95 anymore. The red and yellow got pretty damn lame and stale and boring. Most hated wrestler of the year, 95, Jerry the King Lawler. I don't disagree with that. I fucking hated him. 
And what do you know? In 2020, I still don't like him. And, uh, 95 Lawler was just fucking annoying. I, he, I didn't like him as a, uh, pre-teen. I was, uh, 12 years old at the time. So, uh, first runner-up, Kevin Sullivan, most hated. Second runner-up, the Gangsters. Third runner-up, Davey Boy Smith. Most improved wrestler of the year, 95, Diamond Dallas Page. I agree with that. Uh, first runner-up, Tommy Dreamer. Second runner-up, Harlem Heat. Third runner-up, Savio Vega. Inspirational wrestler of the year for 95 was Barry Horowitz. Which, uh, he actually got a push. And I was shocked. It was an episode of Superstars. He defeated Skip of the Body Donis. That was shocking. Because Barry Horowitz never, ever won. And he got a win. And the fans actually went pretty nuts and popped. And then Barry Horowitz had a singles match at SummerSlam 95. So, uh... Is there any more? Rookie of the Year for 95, Alex Wright. He was pretty damn good. Stupid gimmick. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Dancing gimmick. But he was a great athlete. Damn good worker. He was like only 18 or 19 in 95, so he was really young. So our first runner up... After Alex Wright was Sergeant Craig Pitbull Pittman. Basically, he's a mid-carder and jobber in WCW. After uh, second runner-up, Lawrence Taylor. How is he Rookie of the Year? I don't get it. The guy had one match. So... Uh, Comeback of the year for 95, Randy Macho Man Savage. First runner up, the Heavenly Bodies. And uh, second runner up, Savio Vega. Third runner up, Ultimate Warrior. I guess he's on the Indies in 95. I don't know where the hell the Warrior was, and I didn't care. But I will admit, when he returned at a uh, and he had a match at King of the Ring. I was there live. His entrance was fucking awesome. I marked out as a 12-year-old because I was 12. And it was pretty damn cool to see the Ultimate Warrior when I was 12. So I will admit I did mark out. I was a fan of him in 96. So that's uh, all the PWI Awards. PWI's uh, Editor's Award, whatever the hell that is, was given to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat in 95. So that's the PWI Awards for 1995. Hope you enjoyed my year in wrestling. Reloaded, 1995 Part 2, the next year in wrestling reloaded. I don't know when I'll do it. But it will be on 1996. And I will review a lot of ECW Super Shows that happened in 96. Because I didn't talk about a lot of the ECW big events and Super Shows. Not pay-per-views. Just Super Shows. I didn't talk about them on my first uh, year in wrestling shows. But I will talk about them for 96, 97, 98, 99. I'll talk about the ECW big events that were at the arena and not pay-per-views. Bye for now.